Hi everyone, welcome to another scrunchie tutorial. In today's video, we're doing the burrito method. I actually avoided this method for a while because it looked more complicated than the methods that I'm used to. But this is actually the first scrunchie that I did using this method and it turned out okay. So if I can do it, you can definitely do it. The fabric that I'm using today is satin and the measurements are 30 inches by 5 inches. To cut the fabric, I would use a ruler as a guide and cut with a rotary cutter. Fold the fabric in half with the right sides facing and sew a straight line down with some seam allowance. Don't forget to backstitch at the start and the end of your sewing. Lay the fabric down and use your fingers to press the seams flat. Then turn to the other side and start folding the two sides inwards until you have a thin strip. Hold this roll in place then overlap the other two sides. Making sure that the roll is well out of the way, I'm going to start sewing just above where the seams are. Make sure that everything is aligned and again remember to backstitch. As you come towards the end of the burrito, slide your fingers in to pull the roll down as far as you can. I would say this method is best suited for large scrunchies because that gives you some room to move things around. I have also covered the other methods of making and closing a scrunchie in my other videos. So check out the links in the description box if you're interested. Just keep pulling and sewing until you see the first few stitches that you did and leave a gap of about 2 inches from there. Use a bodkin or a safety pin to thread the elastic through. Then either tie or sew over the ends a few times like I'm doing. At this point, you want to find the gap from before and start pulling the scrunchie out along with the elastic. Just keep pulling until your scrunchie appears. There it is, I'm pretty happy with it for a first try. Just going to cut all this extra thread. Now all that's left to do is to close this gap. Now you can use a ladder stitch to give it a nice clean finish. But for the sake of speed, today I'm just going to do a top stitch right along the edge.
And we have finished our scrunchie using the burrito method. Thank you so much for watching. If you found the video useful, please support my channel by liking the video and subscribing for more sewing and DIY tutorials. Take care and see you next time.